Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So as usual today I am off to London to go see Everybody's Talking About Jamie. That is Everybody's Talking About Jamie instead of Jamie the Musical because I just got told off for saying Jamie the Musical because it's officially known as Everybody's Talking About Jamie and I'm a proper vlogger. So I should do this so I'm probably going to fall this but so you don't have to hear me moan. But yes, I'm going to give you three seconds to get home with. I feel like it's pretty obvious. Just go watch my last few vlogs which if you haven't already you should have done that so you should go do that. But three, two, one. <laughs> Boom! So it's obviously Callum Bromwin, Becky, a hey boy. So yeah, um, we are going to see everyone talking about Jamie because it's Bro well, it was it's not Bromwin's birthday now, but it was for Bromwin's birthday. So we're going to go see that. Which, if you haven't already, go check out the birthday celebrations vlog, which celebrates these two's birthdays. But this is obviously the trip for Bromwin's. Oh no, our train's cancelled. No, that's not the time of the train we were going to get. Was by it? A train. What? Oh my god! Oh shit. Right, we'll get back to you. We're gonna work out what we're gonna actually do because now we have no clue how we're going to London right now. Okay, yeah, BRB. It's great. We made it on a train. Yeah, yeah. The guy sorted us out. Don't worry. We got this. We have to switch trains, but he sorted us out. Hello. <laughs> that was a good morning. We made it on our final train to London, and all our trains back to normal now. Very typical, as usual. But it's fine. So let's go. Sorry, it's I really can't hard see. to film on tubes. But yeah, I just thought I'd film from with fear of tubes because don't like them. So, we have just arrived and got off the tube. Bronwyn survived. Um, Bronwyn and Becky want to go in the sweet shop, so we're going to go in the sweet shop. It's called like American Candies and stuff. It's called Kingdom of Sweets. If you've been to London before, you'll know it. It's quite a generic one. Look at her. She looks really good today. Not that you don't look good every day, you look sick. Bronwyn's good, so it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> Twizzlers are vegetarian, so I got really excited and had to buy some. So, woo! No, it's not. It's this way. It's right there. No, it's not. That's the that's the fuck thing. No. We always every argue time. every time we come to London because he tries to tell me I'm wrong every time. And who's right all the time? No, you're really not. So the guy just dropped some beats and then just turned them off and is now ranting. This guy is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right, go again. Hi guys, my show is not actually a middle-aged month and never sound a bit of an up on it. photos which I'll insert a few of now whilst I'm talking um, it's starting to rain and I have a raincoat technically but it hasn't got a hood uh, Becky doesn't have a hood Bromma doesn't have a hood no, no, and Callum doesn't We're have a hood an adult. interesting but it's fine because we're gonna go find snog now and I'm gonna have a snog with someone but um yeah. Um, no, we're going to snog the ice cream place. It's some ice cream. Although it feels really irrelevant now it's raining, but it's cool. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna go grab food from somewhere and then we're we'll obviously later we need to in Jamie. Everybody's talking about Jamie, because I'll get told off every day, everyone's talking about Jamie. Let's go get a snog. I need one.
Brom win was trying to get a snogger herself, wasn't she, from the fucking cash here? Oi, oi, go on, Brom win. <laughs> Unfortunately, our girl Bronwyn didn't manage to get a snog off the cashier. Fuck off. How sad. And then a second cashier came along and she also wanted a bit of him, so she not wanted a double candy, snog. Not oh, okay. There was a lot of snog wanting, but not snog getting. I mean, I really enjoyed my I mean, snog, which was just an ice cream. And it was bloody brilliant. Um, that person proper eyed me. Bronwyn is triggered. Trigger, trigger, triggered. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got Becky fangirling over the fact there's a big Pikachu. <laughs> Bronwyn's still in shock. <laughs> Becky's excited. We're all feeling the emotions today, aren't we, guys? <laughs> we are now in McDonald's. And they have gender neutral toilets, which is a big group. Why are you showing them your number? 27, bro. Oh, your hair looks Hi, really I fell left out. I'm here. Hiya. Hey, yeah, getting self explanatory. So, in all my time of being coming to London, I have never gone in the Lego World shop. It's always been too busy, but it's actually incredible. So, I'm going to insert some footage of it now. But yes, it's really, really cool. Look, this is all made out of Lego. Here we go again. This is IKEA round two. IKEA round two. I'm gonna about to come and play. I'm just pretending to the vlog that I'm not boring. All right, Becky. I'm boring, Becky. All right. Oh, you're making me feel. You know you wanna play with like too. I mean, I'm literally about to. I'm just gonna put down the vlogging camera to be honest. You just said I was a child. You are a child, Becky. You are too, though. I never denied that. Wow. How is she so small? Come on back out, Becky. Becky, come out. Ooh, hey! No, Slide now those DMs like, what? <laughs> and you don't even know it! Do you, think, do you think they're a bit excited, mate? Do you think they're a bit excited? Do you think they're excited? Do you reckon they're musical theatre students? <laughs> so, we are about to go in the theatre, so that'll be it for me talking for now until after the show. So, I hope we all enjoy. Of course we will. And I'm so excited to see Leighton Williams. So, the show is over. We are now on the train home. We had to run. Otherwise, I would have vlogged a little bit outside um, on the walk to the tube station, but we had to run because nighttime showings do that. Because for some reason, some real don't like to let theatre goers and people not walk to the train station and go to stage store and shit. So um, we had to run. And I have a 9 a.m. and I'm not getting back until like half past midnight. So that is going to be fun in the morning. But right now, let's I talk about the show. Thank you. A little bit louder, please, Bronwyn, in the back row. But anyway, I'm going to quickly talk about the show. So I'm going to start because it's my vlog, so I get to speak first. Um, so I really, really enjoyed the show. Um, I really like Leighton Williams. I wanted to see him for ages. I wanted to see him in Hairspray and I wanted to see him in Rent. But both shows, I didn't get to see him. And then I finally got to see him in Jamie, and it was bloody incredible. He is just, he's really cool. He's really sick. Um, I really like his voice. Um, his voice is like a bit more husky, let's say. I think it was tired. Yeah, yeah, kind of vibe, but I like. I really enjoyed the fact it was like that because I thought it added more emotion character to the role. I think his characterization is sick. The choreography of the whole show is incredible. And there's this one number which is cool. What's the one that you had? Um, Hang on. One second. Mum sings a song called If I Met Myself Again, which is her talking about her past relationship. And there's like a little dance duet thing. Exactly. And it's very physical and like Stunning. physical theatre contemporary kind of vibey thing. It's my cup of tea and I really bloody enjoyed it. And the two 
um, actors that did it were actually incredible throughout the whole show. Agreed. The whole ensemble were incredible throughout the whole show. But I remember watching them two a lot throughout, like through the ensemble. They stood out quite but well. Yes, they did mm. a lot. Really, like they were sick. Um, I would name names, but I just feel like naming names gets really long-winded, and you don't need to know. You can just look on the cast website. But yes, we're now going to head over to Bronwyn just because it was for her birthday, so it makes sense to go over to her next. Go. Ahead. I absolutely loved it from start to finish. Um, the cast were incredible and Lady Williams, oh my god, but sick. boy could fucking kick. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, he looked like a bendy like dog. So. Caleb, go for it. Um, well, but it was insane. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we've kind of covered a lot yeah, of it, that's the thing. Like, the first number wasn't as great as I hoped it would be, but other than that... I agree with that. And his voice was a bit too tight for my liking. But there wasn't there wasn't a big oomph in it. No. And that's I, that's, that's just, what yeah, I, I liked. Like it. I, I like liked it. it though. I liked that there no, wasn't but, anything yeah. like I didn't like I, like if you started riffing and like going all high pitch and shit. I think no, I would not like you're just not, trying to play it not off. Not even what I was looking for. No. I was just no. looking for that. It was oh, yeah. I didn't I didn't need it though. Yeah, it's it is. I know it's worse off in I just said oh, I didn't need that. I like the. I felt more emotion came through because it wasn't doing that yeah. in one's opinion. Like, I, feel like I really like pretty. Okay, it's so much. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you said you didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, I was I about to comment on that if no one else did. I was going to leave her for someone else to go. So you go for it, Becky. Because I agree on what Becky's about to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to say Pretty was amazing. Like, her voice was really, like, effortless. And, like, She's a Muslim girl. But She's one girl. of um, yeah. the people in the show that, like, isn't underrated. Because I feel like she does get recognised for what she does yeah. within the show. But she's underrated, if that makes sense. Like, she, she deserves a lot more. Her. Yeah, she's yeah. very, like, she's, a, she's sick. Everybody's talking about Jamie. What about I it? thought it was no. cute that at the end, um, there should be a spin off musical. What about Pretty? Yeah, it should. I agree. <laughs> I but I feel like um, I loved how at the end it turned out that. Oh no, I can't do spoilers, can I? Uh, yeah, spoiler alert. But it, it, tur <laughs> it turns out that um, his, his second mom kind of thing. Turns out to be her auntie. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> that's such a little thing that's barely oh, that's a spoiler. A no one's gonna thing. like cry yeah. over knowing that. Yeah. Quick rating thing. Casting um, out of 10. So I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. <laughs> mm, I got negative. I'm gonna go 8. Oh, I don't. Uh, like 8.5. Okay. Um, for choreography. I'm gonna give it a like. Oh, I don't know because I didn't like the first one. Like, I don't want to use my time, but it was insane. Yeah, no, I don't want to use my time, but ten. I'm gonna give it a nine. I might go nine point five to yeah. a ten. Okay. Choreography. The, the, um, the, the first number of the second act was sick as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, that's I really true. I really struggled by Jamie. The choreography was that all the way through the choreography. Yeah. Yeah. Vocals. I'm gonna give it a nine again out of ten. Probably. Maybe eight and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna say eight again. Becky? I'd say a strong eight. No! <laughs> <laughs> a strong eight. So a strong eight basically means like an 8.5. <laughs> not quite there. So like an 8.4. I think, just, I think to be fair, if I'd have, had, had a seen this before Waitress, I'd have been like way more blown away. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just because the vocals in Waitress were so literally. That's fair. Like, Effortless. I don't think I heard a single one no. Should we do an overall rating okay. of the entire show? Yes, we're doing an o overall rating of the entire show. I'm going to give the show a <laughs> 8 out of 10 overall. Oh my god. Overall. 9 out of 10. 8.5. 8.5. Oh, I went the lowest, considering I praised it one of the most. Yeah. Well, you can know. I gave it an 8 out of 10. Fab, you didn't even rate them an 8 in any other way. Yeah, it's absolutely no, sense. But, it's not, it's not, I'm not doing a mean average, I'm rating it against. No, because <laughs> overall of the show, I'm rating against other shows. Sir. Okay, so well, I, I wouldn't. I would rate this an eight out of ten over other shows. Show yeah, like, oh, show like, no, I did. Yeah. I did a rating of the show, which is what the category was called. Like it's not my favorite. You didn't specify. Yeah. Okay, well we we'll do that round again. No, I say that's eight right. out of ten. That's it. Eight point five. Eight point five. Wow, really, guys, you've really changed your answers. Okay, eight point five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go because I've got a really bad vlog around. So that is it for today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to get notifications when I post, and I will see you again next week for another video. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.